Hello everyone, welcome back to Cooking Simulator, Cooking with Deuce. Let's get back into this. Uh, if you watch the last one, if you watch the end of it, you see where we left off. Uh, today we're going to try to continue on with our... Uh, I didn't really plan on this being a, a series, honestly, but I think it's going to be now. Because, well, I like it. It's fun. Um, but we're going to continue on with our story mode and hopefully... Make some, make some, make some big bucks. Make some dollars. Uh, we're gonna try to get the uh, food critics on our side, which is very hard to do if you've ever seen anything uh, food-related shows at all anywhere ever. Uh, it's it's hard to create good food. It's easy to create good food if you're paying attention. You don't have to be a world-class chef to make food that's worth eating, but you do have to pay attention to uh, how the the quality you're putting out. Food critic will be here in about three hours. Okay, so what do we need to do? Uh, we've got our big pot out for the potatoes. We've got our tomatoes out. We've got our sour cream that's still setting out on the counter. It's perfectly fine. Chicken broth still setting out on the counter. How much chicken broth is in there? 346. Uh, let's go ahead and get some more sour cream. Do I have anything in here? I've got sour cream in there. Okay, good. So I need to get more um, uh, liquids. I need to get more chicken broth because I feel like I'm going to need it. So let's go ahead and buy a chicken broth. There we go. Uh, we have made a little bit of money, but not not just a whole lot of money. So we'll go ahead and set that there. It looks good. It's a good spot. Let's check our cabinets because I'm pretty sure I have cabinet soup somewhere here. There we go. Uh, we'll go ahead and get the prep day started. And that is ready to... Yeah, that's ready to be done up there, I think. Yeah, that's ready to be done up. And then we have... Uh, we don't have... Oh, we do have. Okay. We do have another soup here. Okay, let's let's do the let's do the soup on the end. Let's do potato soup down here. Let's do the tomato or the potato boiling down there. Let's do the whatever that soup is, whatever it's called. Um. Uh, we can actually go ahead and process this. Go ahead and start cooking it. Where did I put my? There it is. So where did I put my blender, my mixer thing? Um. Let's go ahead and turn this guy on. And start blending this up a bit here. Uh, Q move down. Okay. Oh, it overflowed a bit. It's okay though. Uh, we didn't make a huge mess, so it's fine. There we go. Now that should be, that should be good there. Uh, we'll go ahead and get that going, and then we will heat this up later. We'll go ahead and we'll let that cook for. Another 30 seconds, and it should be ready to go. Hopefully. I'm trying to get my timing right without using the timers. It's really hard to do. Uh, preparation phase. What else would we need? Can we get this guy off the counter yet? Like it, it almost lets me grab it. Aha, finally. Man, it's like three hours worth of trying to get that thing off the table. What else do we need to prep, guys? We need to prep lemon, right? We need a lemon cut into four pieces. Let's go ahead and uh, set that up there. Grab our knife. I gotta remember how to uh, how to do this here. So if I do that, that's not right. Rotate A and D. Okay. Yeah. So let's do there, and then here, and here. I think that's this should be four pieces. That should be fine. Uh, we'll take this extra little slice here and drop it in the trash because we don't need it. And then we will set these off to the side on the counter. We will need those later on for the salmon dish, I think. Uh, the trout should be in the fridge, ready to go. Cooking pad is here. Uh, don't let me forget the horseradish on the trout this time, because I always forget that. 13 seconds to go, and it's going to be madness. Pure madness. Move that timer back a little bit out of the way. I don't want it sitting on the edge of the stovetop. There we go. Perfect. Okay. The soup is more than ready. It's probably overcooked at this point. The restaurant is now open. We've taken our first orders in a moment. All right. Let's see what our first one is. Uh, new order. Hey, look. We got the lemons out. Perfect time. So let's throw that up on this screen here. Uh, so salt, pepper, 10, 10 liters of, of oil to the pan. We're going to get our trout out here. Oh no, it's a salmon. Salmon. Salmon and potatoes. My bad. Uh, can we put this back? I don't know that we can put this... Okay. We can't put that back. We'll hang on to it. We will... Uh, we'll go ahead and set it on the tray. Let 
I'm doing a lot of stuff I don't need to be doing right now. There we go. All right, I need to get potatoes boiling, so let's uh, let's pull the pot, put some water in it. And it's a thousand milliliters of water, I'm pretty sure. There we go. Pull that back out. And drop it on the end eye down here. We'll go ahead and get the water started on that. Uh, we will need uh, salt and then potatoes. So, 300 milligrams of potatoes. So we need two potatoes. We'll just take... I should have taken the pot over there. I keep forgetting to do that. I did that in the stream the other night, too. And it's not it's not, uh, it's not, not good because I'm, I'm making more trips this way. Uh, it takes longer. So, we need to go ahead and get the potatoes bowling. We need to get the salt in. There we go. Let's get the salt in there. And we need to season the... I want to season the water, not the extra potatoes. So 20 grams. All right, that'll work. That was uh, 21 grams total. And then we need, so that's 120 seconds. It's been on for uh, some amount of time here. So let's go uh, one minute and 40 seconds. That should be right on that. Now the filet, uh, salt, pepper, uh, add the pan, so let's grab the we can grab the pan and we'll just take it and get our fillet. That way we can do all this in one motion here. There we go. Close that back. And then it's five salt and pepper. We'll go pepper. There we go. And then salt. There we go, perfect. 10 milliliters of sunflower oil. We're going to pour, uh, tilt. Little, little too much oil, that's okay though. It's it's not it's not dying on me, it's, it's still good. All right, let's flip that on. Timer has 44 seconds left on it. So when that goes off, we'll reset it for 20 seconds and then we'll flip the salmon. Try to flip the salmon. Uh, it never works out for me. Let's go get a... What do we need? Put on a what? Transfer onto a plate. So a regular plate is fine. Basic plate. That works. We'll go ahead and get that over here and get it ready to pick up and serve. Um, it says 60 seconds on each side, but... You want to get that skin nice and crispy, though. You don't want it to... My right, potatoes should be done. Go ahead and cut that off. We'll go ahead and set this for 20 seconds. Let that salmon do its thing. Where's my spatula? There it is. Found the spatula in this thing. So about another 10 seconds. We should be good. That was pretty close. Uh, the rotate. Oh no, advanced controls. Rotate, and we flip it. No, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Yes, yes, I hear you, I hear you. Just give me a second. Give me a second here. Uh, go down, flip. That didn't work either. Uh, let's put that down. Put that back in the pan. Okay. Rotate. Drop down a little bit. Rotate. Over. Hey, we flipped something correctly. Nice. All right, yeah, 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 I hear you, I hear you. We're gonna reset you to one minute. There we go, we'll let that sear for that side one minute, and then we'll pull the potatoes. We'll go ahead and pull those out, actually. And, nope, nope, not what I wanted, that one. There we go. We'll set those down, one minute there, we'll pull this out, drop it on the plate, and we should be good to serve. There's four minutes left on it, and we only need about 38 more seconds, so we should be pretty good. Okay, timer off. And this off and out of the pan. Beautiful. Salmon filet and potatoes. Seasoned beautifully. There we go. No picture needed. Send it on. Let's see how we did. Four and a half star? Four and a quarter star? Roughly? Okay. That's fine. We made 50 bucks. Very nice. I should look at the complaints. 
Uh, I'll be taking this order soon. Okay, food critic. Here we go. Uh, okay. I can do that. It's this one. Let's heat that up. Gonna get it nice and warm. I should make a fresh pot for this. We're gonna send it out. Let's go get a large bowl. Deep plate. Deep plate's what we need. Okay, deep plate. Got it. Got it, got it, got it. Deep plate basic. That one. All right. And set that down there. I need a ladle. Can I just go buy a ladle? Let me go buy a ladle. I think that'd probably be easier. I want the big ladle, though. Let's see. Utensils. Miscellaneous. Utensils. There we go. Uh, I need a big ladle. 150 milliliter ladle. Nice. Bye. Cool. All right. How's that doing? It's probably warm. So let's cut that off. There we go. And we'll hang the ladle right here on the wall while it's still dirty because, well, that's what we do. Uh, so a perfect 300 milliliters of soup there. Uh, the ladle is actually very nice. Send it on for the food critic. Let's see how we do. Dang, four and a half stars. Achievement. There's a light at the end of the tunnel. He will be back. Nice, so we actually did good. Uh, 31, 10 was our profit. Not, not bad. Uh, let's see the guest complaints. Too much onion and too much carrot. Yep. Temperature is perfect. Uh, mixture was too cold. Okay. So I should have let it heat up some more, I guess. Either way, exam passed. We did it. Just wait till people start banging out, banging at our doors. Heck yeah. All right. Baked trout is our next one. Good deal. What is that? Oh, look. I got a trophy. Hang on. Let's put this over here. Nice. Very nice. Okay. Baked trout. Let's do baked trout. There we go. Okay, trout's already here. Uh, is it 20 or 5? Five? 5, 5, and 5. Okay. Black pepper time, deal, and then the horseradish afterwards. Got it. Okay. Okay. Um, and deal, and then we'll do black pepper. Get that set down. There we go. Black pepper. There we go. Good deal. Oh, nope. That's, uh, that's not enough. Hang on. There we go. Five. Perfect. And then this goes in for 90 seconds. Oh, hey. Come back here. There we go. Slap that in there. Turn that on. Timer. For minute 30. Put that down. All right. Now, while that's going on, all we need to do is um, nothing. Nothing, really. Uh, lemon gets cut into quarters. Done. I need to go grab a plate. Get a single plate. There we go. And down. Don't let me forget the horseradish. Five. Five, five grams of horseradish after this timer goes off. Timer off. All right. Grab this out of there. Turn that guy off. Hot bacon pan. No problem for us. Horseradish on. Five grams of horseradish. Perfecto. Salmon. No, that's trout. And then our four lemon quarters. And that one jumped back off the plate for some reason. Beautiful. I need garnish. Six grams of fresh parsley. I need garnish over here. Okay, so one, two, three. Garnish with parsley, fresh, in the window. Send it out. Let's see how we did. Almost a perfect five-star rating. Ha! I knew I could do it. $47 profit. That's really, really good. Guest complaints. Uh, lemon quarters. Wrong amount of product. Yeah, so I chopped one of the sides off the lemon. So that was the only thing that kept us getting a perfect five stars. So flavors were perfect. Te temperature was perfect. Technique was meh. Okay. I'm good with that, though. All right, let's close that guy up. <clears throat> Nothing's on, on the stove, right? Nothing is on. Okay, we need to pour this potato soup out. New order up? Uh, no. I want to pour. Uh, advanced controls. 
uh, and then this. Yeah, I want to pour that out. Okay. Anything left in there? No. Okay. Uh, I need to make a new pot of this because I think I only have... We've got 253 milliliters left of it, but we're going to turn it back on and let it heat up while we're going to grab a plate. Uh, and then we'll make fresh. We'll make fresh later. Back with our plate. And there we go. And the soup we're gonna let we're gonna let heat up quite a bit here. Because it wasn't hot enough the last time we sent it out. So I want it to be I want it to be hot. I want it to be nice. I want it to taste good. Even though it's cabinet soup, I want it to taste good. Alright, we've given it 30 seconds. It should be good to go. Let's turn that off, grab our ladle. Ladle was the best thing I think I bought. That was that was nice. Because you just do this, then you do that. Then you do the same thing again that and then that and you hang your ladle back up and you grab your bowl and you're off to the races and serve tomato soup oh that wasn't tomato soup uh that was the wrong thing all the way around um yeah yeah that was the wrong soup all the way around my fault i served you the wrong soup i served the wrong soup guys oops all right, salmon steak and bull potatoes. Nice. Let's grab some water. Horseradish. Okay. Need to grab water and get potatoes, and then we'll see what we need for the horseradish soup or whatever it is, whatever it's called. Uh, let's grab our potatoes. We'll go ahead and drop them in the pot. Nice. And then 20 grams of salt. Uh, let's. Try not to salt the potatoes themselves. There we go. Be perfectly salted. And then we need what for the for this one? Uh, chicken broth. Okay, thousand milliliters. I think I can do it all on the stove top here. Thousand milliliters of chicken broth. Uh, let's go ahead and use. Is this a whole one? One thousand liters of chicken broth right there. I poured some on the countertop, maybe? Uh, let's go ahead and finish off our extra 20 here. I don't know how I ended up pouring it on the countertop. It was weird. Pour 20 more. Okay. That'll do. Uh, this can go in the bin. Go. Uh, and then I need 20-20 uh, uh, salt and pepper. Okay. This one takes so long to prepare. Like this is something I really should prep in the morning, I think. But I forgot the I forgot the recipe for it. If you want the truth, like I would have been prepping for it, but I forgot the recipe. I need to get the salmon on because that's going to take a minute as well. So uh, a little too much salt and pepper there. Um, let me see. Let me pull up this one over here. Make sure I'm right on this five and five on the pepper. It is okay. Let's go ahead and throw it in the pan. And then get our salt and pepper on it as well. We'll just double duty this here. Try not to forget where we're at. Way too much salt. Way too much pepper. Perfect amount of sunflower seed oil or sunflower oil, whatever it is. All right, I need uh, 600 grams of beetroot. 120 gram, 120 grams of onions, 70 grams of carrot, and parsley root. Okay, let's take this. Is this it? Is this the one we're working with? Yeah. So 600, 120, 780. You guys remember that? Because I don't. All right, 600 of beetroot. So that's 240, 480, and then that should be it. And then uh, is it 120 of onion? <clears throat> Let's go look to make sure. Yeah, 120 onions, 70 carrot, and 80 parsley root. Okay, so just a whole onion. Whole onion. We missed. Whole onion. There we go. Whole parsley root. We missed again. We're moving the pot too quick, I think. And then 70 of carrot. Nice. Okay. And then boil for 120 seconds. 
And then 300, okay, got it. Let's turn that on. Let's get our mixer out here. And we're gonna blend it up. Make sure we get it all. So one down in there that won't. There we go. So make sure you're pressing them all in there. Okay. Um, about another, at two minutes, we need to pull that out. No, no. At two minutes and 30, we need to pull that out. Maybe. Okay, we gotta get this pan on. Pan on, pot on for the potatoes. 60 seconds on each side, 120 seconds on this. They started at the same time, so let's set the timer for a minute, 10. <clears throat> and then we will reset it for another 60 seconds after that for the potatoes. And then this guy should be done in about the same amount of time. Uh, I know this one came in first, but uh, four minutes left on that. Mm, yeah, that's it. All right, I need a deep bowl and a plate. So let's grab the plate because it needs to go out first. The, uh, the, the salmon needs to go out first for sure. Grab a plate and then the deep bowl. We'll set it next to it. Multitasking is not something I'm good at, especially in this game. So I'm trying to be better. Okay, so at 10 seconds, we need to flip this. Where's our spatula? And flip. Okay. So do more controls. Go down. And then carefully roll over. Close. There we go. Oh God. Okay, we we broke the oil, but that's that's okay. Uh, that's fine. All right, we need to reset you for 50 seconds. No, that's six minutes. God no, no, 50 seconds. There we go. Put it back on there. Uh, this guy needs to go for a little bit longer. This one is done probably, so we can go ahead and serve that up. Let's grab our ladle and let's bring our bowl over here hang on bring our bring our plate over here deep plate deep plate over there to the bowl or to the pot we go make it a little quicker all right we'll just set the ladle right there it looks good we'll take this guy to serve while we're waiting should be perfect oh so close to perfect all right what would it say 32 10 Okay, what did it say? Uh, too much carrot, too much salt, too much black pepper. Yeah, I figured the salt and pepper. Too much carrot, though. It's 70 grams. That's what you wanted. Maybe they need to start cutting the carrot in half or something. I'm not real sure, to be honest. All right, these potatoes should be about ready. We can cut them off, let them finish cooking um, in the just the hot water there. And there is the timer for that. So we can take this guy, drop it on the plate. We can cut this eye off. Then we can grab our potatoes. Grab our potatoes. Beautiful plate. Beautifully seasoned. Should be perfect. Should be a perfect meal. God, what happened there? Too much salt and pepper, if I had to guess. Uh, we made 49.60 off of it, so... Uh, heating mistakes. Was it, was it overcooked? Temperature is perfect. Too much salt, too much salt. Yeah, that's what I figured. Uh, on the bowl of potatoes. Yeah, I went a little heavy on the salt that time around. Still made... 49.60 though. Um, yeah. Once you finish, we're closing it down for the night. No more orders. Okay, no more orders today. Sweet. That means I can take uh, and clean up a bit here. And we'll have some cabinet soup left over for tomorrow. So that's good. Uh, how do I use this? Can't remember. E? Yeah, it's E. There we go. Just need to clean up a bit because this is this is pretty nasty. Nas nasty. It's nasty. This is nasty right here. Make sure we get all the stuff up. There we go. Let's throw the sponge on this side. Uh, our big pot of... This is potato water. So nobody wants potato water. 
There we go. Done deal. Get that turned somewhat correctly there. All right, we'll put the pan back on the eye, and we'll take our potato soup. What? How did I spill that? I spilled that everywhere. How? That's tomato soup, by the way. Uh, 1.8 liters. It may be a bit full. Maybe that's the issue. Let's go grab our mop and get cleaned up here. Because this thing works properly. Yeah, this thing works great. Don't know why it's not clean. We may have to actually get the, uh, the old toothbrush out and clean that. Okay, weird. Can I have this? Thank you. This thing doesn't really do much for cleaning anyway. So we might as well just leave it back here. To be quite honest. We'll just use the sponge. It's fine. Use the sponge. What's in the bucket? Oh, the bucket is for when I when I dropped all the stuff on the floor. That's right. I'm trying to remember why I have the bucket. Uh E. Clean. Crouch. Clean. There we go. The old toothbrush out here and clean up the mess since uh I can't do it with the mop. Apparently, the thing it's supposed to be used for, you know? Alright, so I have plenty of borscht soup. I don't know what it's called, actually. And then I have plenty of tomato soup as well. So we should be ready to start one more day here. Um, but I think... I think I'm going to call that an episode, guys. If you enjoyed, make sure you leave a like, leave a comment, and let me know what you think. Uh, I'm going to try the uh, other challenges and stuff in this game in the next one. I just wanted to get one more in here to see if we could... Uh, make a food critic happy and we did that so we're gonna move on and try some other challenges and stuff in this game uh, and we'll continue on with our um, uh, story story mode no um, career mode we're gonna continue on with the career mode and the next one I hope you enjoyed I'll see you guys later have a good one later everybody